so I've got my backdrop, I've got my tree. Oh, wow! Hey, I love what you've done with the place. Oh, thank you. Just getting ready for Christmas. Yay, it's nearly Christmas! Yeah, oh! Really exciting. What have you got there then? Well, this is my truck that my mum got me last year. Yeah, I remember when she gave it to me. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I was just thinking when she gave it to me, she told me not to bite it too hard. Oh, yeah, that's really wise counsel. Counsel? What's that, Anna? Really, really good advice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me of an, a verse in the Bible. He will be called Wonderful Counselor. He? Who's that? Why don't we go and see if Faith Bear's got a story that will tell us about who he is? Faith Bear! Hello Faith Bear! What window is the story through today? Is it the square window? The circle window? Or is it the arched window? Ah, oh, the square window! Mother Christmas. Hello, my name's Justin. Have you ever seen an angel? Look, got my wings. <laughs> well, today's story is all about someone who did. Yeah, not you though, no. For a long time, God's people had kings to look after them. But suddenly, they found themselves without a king. So they asked God to give them another king. God promised that he would send them a rescuing king because he loved them so much and he would never stop loving them. God's people waited and waited. They waited for their rescuing king. He would fight their battles for them and he would defeat their enemies. But God had a very different idea. This king wasn't going to be anything like they expected at all. In fact, he would be so much more than they expected. You see, it all started when an angel named Gabriel visited Mary. Mary was an ordinary girl who was going to marry an ordinary man named Joseph. And they planned to live an ordinary life. Or so they thought. But God had a very different plan for them. One day, when Mary was sitting at home thinking about her wedding, an angel named Gabriel suddenly appeared before her. Wow! Can you imagine that? An angel suddenly appearing in front of you. I'd be really excited, yeah. But I also think I'd be a little bit frightened too. Do you think you would be? Mary was frightened because the angel said to her, Don't be frightened, Mary. God has chosen you to have a baby who will change the world. He is the rescuer that God's people have been waiting for. And he is God's son. This was a real surprise to Mary, but she loved God and she trusted him. 
I will do whatever God wants, she said. What a story. Fancy an angel just popping up in your house like that. The angel gave Mary some really good advice though when he told her not to be frightened. You know, sometimes we might get frightened or worried, but we know that we can tell God. We can also tell a grown-up who we trust, and I'm sure they will give us some good advice too. Yeah. Well, see you next time. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Verse 6. Thank you.
Whoa, Ada, Mary was really excited with the news. She was like, whoa, just like I was last year with my toy. But now I get it out and I'm like, whoa. And then when the batteries run out, I'm like, whoa. Oh, I know. But how do you feel about Jesus now? Well, even more excited than the toy. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, and how do you think you're going to feel in a week about Jesus? Even more excited. Whoa. How about in a year about Jesus? Even more. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, he is an, an amazing wow that never runs out. Yeah. So children, when you open your presents at Christmas, you might feel like, wow but jesus is the wonderful wow that will never run out it's been great to see you and we'll see you next time Bye. Bye.